Hey guys, what we've got here is a DPF Model 200 Series Land Cruiser. Uh, it's come to us with a aftermarket ECU on it that's fairly new to the market. As I'll show you through this video, they've got a fair bit of catching up to do, but I will go through a step-by-step -step process of what we've done to it and the results we will be achieved out of it. As you can see in this video, the 200 Series is very heavily modified as far as it's got an exhaust on it, it's got an air box, a lot of accessories. The customer has brought it to us unhappy with the results he was basically gained from the other ECU as far as fuel economy, the differences between power and torque from standard to tuned up with the ECU. So we've removed it and we've fitted our new plug and play Uni X setup for this particular model. Obviously comes with a Uni X and a D8D driver, which means they're waterproof, dust, dust proof, shock proof. It's our top of the line Uni chip. And as I'll show you through the video, we'll sh I'll talk you through all the results. Okay, so whenever a car comes to us here, Basically, before we touch it or fit a unit chip to it, we put it on the dyno for a before run. It's where we check the air fuel ratio, the boost pressure, etc., to make sure, basically, give us a baseline with how the tune is. It's exactly the same thing goes when a car comes to us with a, another ECU on it. We put it on the dyno, check what it's like, give us a base run, give us an idea of what it's like so we can compare it to the results of the unit chip. So we can see on this graph here that this ECU did have the option of a five map select as well. I gave it a run in all five of the maps. Its peak power was 131 kilowatt, made about 570 newton meters of torque. Basically it works its way down, similar to how a uni chip works. Map two was somewhere around about 125 kilowatts. Obviously the torque was a bit lower as well, right through to their standard run where it was 115 kilowatts and about 450 newton meters. So the conclusion is, that with this aftermarket ECU fitted from standard to in its highest power form, it made about 15 kilowatts and approximately 130 newton meters of torque. Okay, from here, the aftermarket ECU was removed. We fitted one of our plug and play unit chips, like I mentioned, put it back on the dyno, went into tuning it up live, uh, which is one of the great benefits of the uni chip. So, same thing again, started off tuning it in the high power map, worked our way down through all the maps, giving the customer exactly what he wanted as far as the uh, particular maps. The standard power was 115 kilowatts, made about 450 newton meters of torque. With the uni chip fitted to it in the high power map, it made 156 kilowatts and 700 newton meters of torque. So if you compare that to the high power map of the other ECU, where it made about 130 and 570, 580 newton meters, we've picked up a further 20 kilowatts and approximately another 150 newton meters of torque, which is going to completely change the drivability of the car. So like I mentioned earlier, this ECU manufacturer has a long way to come. So I did print off a second graph just to give you guys uh, the ability to see the comparison with both of our high power runs. So like I mentioned, the ECU, the other ECU made 135 kilowatts. In comparison, we made 156. And as far as the torque goes, it's gone from 580 to over 700. So it's a really big difference. The customer's gonna be very happy and it's given him the exact results he's been chasing.